Welcome back. Everyone's heading back to the classroom in a few weeks, and as parents and schools prepare for their kiddos, new data shows you may be paying more for your school use supplies this year, as KX Sarah Wilson has more. A backpack, pencils, paper, all back to school essentials. Those things are all um, up in price year over year. We're at. While checking off vaccinations for school, you also need school supplies. Prices higher this year than last due to inflation, creating a different back to school shopping experience. Inflation is still at play. Parents are still going to feel this for a lot of products that they're going to probably buy for their kids. You know, everything from graphing paper to scientific calculators and crayons are all up between 6 and 18 percent. But Pattern Communications Director Dallin Hatch says there are ways to cut prices in half. Buy in bulk, they could go in on um, whatever graphing paper with, with a couple of other parents or maybe family. Uh, those kinds of things. You can also look for an off-brand. You can even reuse some of those items kiddos didn't use last year. Um, some of the price increases may be due to just high demand right now, and that may be lower as we enter kind of the holiday season. So those are some strategies that, that parents can use to try and, again, just offset the increased cost of uh, back-to-school products. Just a few strategies to offset rising back-to-school supply prices. Teachers in particular are going to feel that sting. and Yet he urges them to strategize the same way. And if you can donate to a teacher's classroom, even better. Despite the prices, staying creative to budget things you need for your classroom or child is one way to a successful school year with all the essentials. Sarah Wilson, KX News. And speaking of budgets, KX's Sarah Wilson will take a look into how teachers are budgeting this year around inflation for their classrooms. So be sure to tune in to KX News at 6 and 10.